everybody welcome back to my channel I hope that you're all doing well today I thought that I would do a little walkthrough of the decor that I have so far and the way that I've decided to kind of style everything I've already gotten a few questions about you know where I got this piece or where I got that painting or you know things like that and so I thought that I would just kind of do an overview of the things I have so far I definitely wouldn't say that my apartment is done but I have made a lot of headway and it's really coming together and I'm really happy with it. If you're familiar with certain names of styles or you just spend too much time on Pinterest like me, for reference, I kind of went for a combination of like a boho and farmhouse style as far as the aesthetic goes. So a lot of neutrals, a lot of browns, some black, white. My walls are all painted just a crisp white color and I'm really really happy that I made that decision because it just ties the aesthetic together really well. So everything that I'm going to show you today is either from Amazon, Home Goods, Primark, and some of them are just straight up hand-me-downs. So I will let you know where everything is from as we go. I do have an Amazon storefront which I will link down below. And so anything from Amazon, I will have linked there for you so that you can find it super easy and you can see the prices because I don't remember what they are off the top of my head. Um, so if you're interested, that link will be down below, but um, let's just get started. Okay, so we'll start in the living room. This couch was a hand-me-down, but I'm pretty sure it's from Bob's Furniture, if you're curious. Above my couch, you'll see that I have these four prints of these you know eucalyptus leaves and just regular leaves and they fit the aesthetic perfectly so the prints themselves they're 8 by 10 they were like $11 on Amazon they did not come in the frames so the frames I also found on Amazon I got two packs of two and I just put them in the frames and hung them up on top of the couch and I think that they look perfect there pillows this one especially is my favorite one Home Goods. Home Goods has a lot of pillows for reasonable prices. So again, neutrals, the aesthetic, you know the drill. Then you'll see on my entertainment center, I have this beautiful runner. It's this cream and brown runner and I have it draped all across the entertainment center. It definitely, definitely matches the theme. And then on top, I have various things. So I have this vase right here, which is from Target actually. And then this is pompous grass. I found it on Amazon. They have millions of different types of pompous grass. Not that expensive, depends on what size you get. These were reasonably priced and they're beautiful. And you kind of just let them sit in natural sunlight for a little bit when you unpackage them and then they expand and kind of look a little bit like this. And so I was very, very happy with the way this came together and how it looks on the entertainment center. This candle I also absolutely love. It's from Primark. It was $9. So for a candle this size, that's a very good price, in my opinion anyway. This will probably never be lit, just because I think it's beautiful. You can still kind of smell it even when it's not lit, and I never want it to go away. Therefore, it's just going to be a piece of decoration in front of my TV, and it'll stay there forever. And then as you saw, I have various other little fake plants, little vases, little tea light candles and I kind of just threw it all there but it actually all came together. You will notice a theme in my apartment where I have basically all fake silk plants. I just don't trust myself to keep them alive. I have one real plant and it is an orchid and you give it just one ice cube a week and I can handle that and that is also on my little entertainment center. Okay next up let's talk about what I have going on behind me in that direction. Right next to my couch I have this little setup, this white beautifully framed mirror is from Home Goods. I've had it for about three years now, maybe four. It was $80 and I think it is gorgeous. It's a beautiful standing mirror. You can hang it if you want to, but it's very heavy. So I just keep it on the floor. I have a basket filled with just throw blankets for when people come over or just myself. I love cuddling up with a blanket. And then that little faux fur rug that I have on the floor is also from Amazon. I've had that, I've had that for years too. Um, so I don't even know if I can link it for you anymore, but it is from Amazon. They have others just like it. And I thought that would all kind of tie together with the fake plant that you also saw there. It's about three and a half to four feet tall. I think it's more like three and a half. If you know anything about fake silk plants, 
they're very expensive <laughs> which i'm not really sure why you can get one for anywhere from like 60 to 80 90 dollars sometimes more depending on how tall it is so on amazon i found a two pack of that same plant i have one in here and one in my bedroom and they were both 89 dollars for two so that's actually a very good deal so i went with that that is linked in my storefront okay so now let's talk about my dining room a little bit this beautiful little kitchenette set is from surprise surprise amazon but it is beautiful the quality is amazing my dad helped me put it together thank the lord and i think it's perfect for my little corner i don't have a lot of space there for a full dining room set but the stool is just allowing me to tuck them under the table and then when people come over i can pull the table out a little bit and then when they leave, push it back in the corner. I swear this video sounds like I'm being sponsored by Amazon. I promise you it is not, uh, but you know, in my dreams. So on top of the dining room table, I have these placemats. I have a set of four of them. They are also from Amazon, not that expensive at all. So it comes on a four set because my dining room table isn't that big. I only keep two out at a time just for decorative purposes and the other two I just keep in storage. And then in the middle of the placemat, I have these flowers. They are fake silk flowers. This was $11 on Amazon. They have pink, they have blue. I went with the white just to kind of, again, fit the aesthetic. So I keep that right in the middle of the dining room table and it looks perfect there for the size of the table and everything, it's perfect. And in the clip I showed, you saw the frames that I have on top of the dining room table um, that is from Amazon and they actually do come in the frames which is great and they were a lot harder to hang than you would think with all those frames and the, the different sizes to make sure that it looked good together was a little bit of a challenge but I think it came out really 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 well okay but on a similar note from the dining room now let's move into the kitchen a little bit this little piece right next to my stove is so inspired by Pinterest, it's not even funny, but I think it all came together really well. So a lot of that, the utensil holder, that's from Home Goods. Um, the cooking utensils, you can kind of find that anywhere. Pro tip, Home Goods has a lot of really good, cute little kitchen necessities for so, so, so cheap. So I am a big, big, big believer in Home Goods. But the other little pieces, this is from Home Goods as well. It's a slab of wood from a tree with little stands on the bottom. And this was $13, $12.99 from Home Goods. And it's a little stand. It's absolutely not necessary at all, but it looks cute. So it's a little stand. The salt and pepper little jars that you saw in the clip are from Amazon. My utensil rest that sits next to my stove is also from Amazon. I think it was $10. And then this little eucalyptus set thing I put together. I got the stalks on Shein for like $2, I think. Um, and they come with, I think, 10 stalks of them. So they're, you guessed it, fake. And then this little clear jar I found at Target for very cheap in the home decor section. So I put them all together. You kind of have to spruce them up a little bit because they do fall but I will put that right on the rest. Again, it's not necessary. It has nothing to do with cooking or anything, but it looks cute, so yeah. Okay, we can move on to the bedroom now. So the bedroom I'm just gonna have to talk to you about because a lot of the things that are on the wall are already in place and I'm not moving them. So we will start with my bedside tables and bedside lamps. They are both from Amazon. The bedside tables came together in a pack the lamps I had to buy two of, they were sold separately. I love them. The aesthetic for my room is a lot of blacks, browns, so really black and neutral. Those are the two main themes in my room. So the lamps are perfect because they have the black and the wood kind of beige color. On top of my bed, those are wicker um, wall baskets. That's what they're called there on Amazon. They were a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but I knew, I knew that they were gonna go there, so I was like, you know what, let's just go for it. So they do come all together in a set of three. In the corner, I did have that same plant, the other one in the corner. You can see my hat wall. Those are hats that I've had. One of them was new, but the other two I've had for a, long, for a while. And I just hung them with command strips. I didn't want to make holes in the walls for that because who knows, maybe I would want to change that one day. So these are the command strips 
that I used. They're the ones that hold up to three pounds. So I think they're the medium size. You can get them really anywhere. They don't damage your walls and they hold a lot of weight and hats are definitely not three pounds. So I was more than okay with those and I'm so happy with the way that that wall came out. So that little corner is so aesthetically pleasing, it hurts. My bedroom furniture I've had since I was about 15 and they're from Ikea, so nothing special there. On top of my dresser though, I decided to keep it nice and clean. Where I used to live, I had all of my hair products, my body products, my makeup, everything on top of that counter and it always looked cluttered and it always looked messy. So when I moved, I said I'm keeping it simple, I'm keeping it basically cleared and I think it came together really well. So that basket, I think I got it in a FabFitFun box a while ago, so I'm not really sure where that's from but you can find them anywhere these days. A uh, fake plant, a candle, goes a long way. And then that little alarm clock, that wooden alarm clock that, again, you're gonna hear me say aesthetic a million times in this video, but it's from Target and it fits the aesthetic perfectly. I think it was like 13 or $14 and it's perfect. So I will be honest, I showed you the good side of my bedroom. If you were to turn and look behind the camera, it's very plain. And so that's one of the parts of the apartment that still need a little bit of work. I do have a really big mirror that I might put on the wall because right now the wall is completely bare and it's just white and it looks too, too plain. So I might put the mirror up on that wall and then under it, I might find a little bench or something to put under there. So maybe something brown to kind of match the aesthetic and you know, mix the browns and the blacks a little bit more. The rug in my bedroom is from Amazon. I forgot to mention the rug um, under my dining room table is also from Amazon. And last but not least, we'll end in the bathroom. I didn't really do much to the bathroom at all. I am gonna eventually change the bathroom vanity. So the part, the cabinet that goes under the sink, it's actually purchased, we have it. Um, I just need to have someone install it. So that'll be coming. It's a nice dark gray color which will match the marble in the bathroom, so that's really nice. We did go ahead and change the faucet in the bathroom. When I say we, I'm really saying we because I had help. <laughs> my dad and my boyfriend did it for me because I can't do that. Um, but they helped me change the faucet. Um, the faucet in there was just a silver, very, very old school faucet, so I figured you know, we could sexy that up a bit. So we just put a matte black one in there and it looks beautiful and then I did buy those that set with the hand soap and one for the cotton swabs one for the cotton balls or whatever I bought that little set on Amazon and it comes with stickers so you can label what goes where it came with the yarn to decorate it and it's very cute and so I have that displayed as well so I think that's basically it for now oh no I forgot one thing there is a mirror I have right next to my front door that is very boho and it's beautiful. I think it was $20 if I remember correctly. It is from Amazon and it's right by my entrance. So if you wanna check yourself out on your way out, you can definitely do that. And I think it's perfect and it's beautiful and it matches perfectly. Now we're done. I think that's everything I have to share with you. Um, I still need to get curtains and new blinds. I know someone commented on one of my videos saying like, please tell me you're gonna replace those blinds from the 90s, and I definitely am. So, we're making progress, but any other questions, you can leave them down below if I, got to, if I forgot to mention something or link something, just let me know down below in the comments and I will answer those questions for you. My next and probably last video of this like moving series is going to be a Q&A because I've gotten a lot of questions about, you know, why did you buy an apartment as opposed to a house or, what does a co-op even mean or or anything like that. I think I'm gonna do a Q&A all about my moving process and experience. So if you have any questions for the Q&A, just let me know down below and I will be sure to include those in my next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you next time.